Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Virtual Sunday School. I'm so glad that you all are here today to learn about our lesson from the Bible. And so today we are talking again about this guy. Y'all recognize him with the holes in his hands and the white robe? This is Jesus after God rose Jesus from the dead. And so we are currently in the season of Easter. Now we've talked before that we have seasons in the weather, right? Fall, summer, spring. And then we also have seasons in the church. So we have Advent, which is the season before Christmas. We have Lent, which is the season before Easter. And then we have Easter season, which is the season after Easter. So this is the season of Easter when we celebrate the mystery that Jesus died and God made Jesus alive again. So here we have a white cloth that I've already laid down. And we're going to talk about today is Ascension Sunday. Ascension is a big word that we're going to talk a little bit more about. So Jesus ascended into heaven. So Ascension is how that happened. So we're going to talk a little bit more. So Ascension Sunday today is when we celebrate another mystery. The mystery that Jesus went away physically from earth so that he could be with us always spiritually in every place, every time, always. And so we talk about this story because it's not something that we talk about often, but Jesus actually lived on earth after God made Jesus alive again for 40 days. Jesus stayed around for a while to hang out with his disciples and to teach people to teach people further, and then Jesus ascended, right? So Jesus went up to heaven. So we're going to kind of talk about that a little bit more today. And I think the best way to do that is with a candle. So this is going to be our Christ candle for today. A lot of Christ candles are white, just like the candles in the sanctuary are white. When we light a white candle in the church, we typically like to refer to that as a Christ candle to symbolize bringing the light of Christ into that place. So here we have this candle. So there's no light. You see, there's no light there. And so when there's no light, we say, Christ has died. Can you say that with me? Christ has died. But Jesus is alive. God raised Jesus from the dead. So we say, Christ has died. Christ has risen. So let's say all that together. Ready? Christ has died. Christ has risen. All right. So Jesus was alive again. God had made Jesus alive again. And he was with his disciples, his friends. And he said to them, I want you to stay in Jerusalem. God will be sending you a special gift. The gift of the Holy Spirit. And we're going to talk about that next week. So the gift of the Holy Spirit will be given to you and will be giving you power, power to tell everyone about Jesus and the kingdom of God. So the Holy Spirit was not around yet. So Jesus is now about to ascend into heaven to be with God and to be in our hearts forever. And then Jesus says, that soon the disciples were received the gift of the Holy Spirit. How interesting that must have been for the disciples to hear that. And so when Jesus, when we think about Jesus, we think about Jesus as the light of Christ. So here we have our candle. So this represents the light of Christ. So Jesus is telling his friends that he is about to leave them physically 
forever, but he will still always be with them. And so he says, I am going away. You will not see me anymore, but I will be with you always in every place and every time, everywhere, and I will come again. And then Jesus just disappeared into a cloud. Wow. Can you see that smoke? Wow. It's still going. That's so cool. Hmm. That smoke reminds me of the mystery of ascension. Jesus went away, but somehow he's still with us. Look at all this smoke that left behind. And Christ will come again. So if we think about it, the unlit candle, Christ has died. And then Christ has risen with the light and we snuffed it out and we said, Christ will come again. So let's say those parts together. I'll say it first and then we'll say it together. So we say, Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. So let's say those together. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Mm. Do you see all that smoke? I think that smoke symbolizes Jesus' presence still being there even though the light was not there anymore. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. This is the mystery of Easter. And if it still feels like a mystery to you, even after this, that's okay. It still feels like a mystery to me as well. I just love watching the way that the smoke continues to go up into the air, representing that Jesus is everywhere, in all places, in all times, in our hearts, in our souls, in our families, in our homes, everywhere we are, Jesus is there waiting for us. And so that is what Jesus decided to do. Jesus realized that he could better serve everyone if he ascended, so he rose, which is what ascended means. He ascended up into heaven to sit up with God and to help take care of the people of earth that way. So I'm very thankful for this lesson today. I'm very thankful for the Christ candle, for the sacrifice that Jesus made for us, and I'm very thankful for all of you. So right now we're going to do something we haven't done before, and it might feel a little weird because we're on a computer screen, but that's okay. So I'm going to invite us into a moment of prayer, and then I am going to open it up to say we are thankful for, and then I'm going to be quiet, and that is where I want you all to say either in your head or your heart or out loud something that you are thankful for in our prayer time together. So let us go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the mystery of Easter, for the mystery of Ascension. And we thank you for the gift of Jesus' sacrifice, for the gift of your love, and for the gift of the Holy Spirit being present with us always. God, we're so thankful for so many things that we want to mention those to you now. God, we are all thankful for
Amen. All right, friends, thanks for joining in this week. There is a super fun craft that Miss Erin did for you all that is about our lesson. So if you all want to go back to the email where you saw this video on the newsletter and click the video below, there are a list of supplies you'll need and a video with instructions from Miss Erin about how to do that. There are also discussion questions that you all can use to talk about this lesson a little bit further. And I also want to say, if you have any questions about any of the lessons that I do, please email me. Please send them to me, or you can call me. You can ask your parents to get my phone number, and you can call me, and I can answer these questions about you, for you about Sunday school lessons that you have. All right, friends, I hope you're doing well. I miss you a lot. Have a great week. Bye.